In this video, I'm going to show you our LASIK Ripple Tank Kit. First of all, in the kit you get a guide which gives you some activities that you can do from the curriculum and shows you how the tank fits together. And then there's also a contents list that you can use to just restock the kit if you, any parts are lost. Then the actual ripple tank is great. It's got these um, barrier all around the side here. And with a normal ripple tank, you'll often get the waves actually bouncing off the side. But the buffer over here actually helps to just dispel the wave so that you can only see the clear wave on the tank. Now, first of all, you get um, these feet that will go in the base of the tank. And these are great, they're sturdy. And then if you need to adjust the height of the tank, just sort of push them in a little bit more or take them out a bit. Don't push them in too hard the first time you put them in, because you're going to be adjusting this to get it completely flat. And then you'll find a long piece and a short piece like this, and they'll fit in these holes. It can go either side, it doesn't matter. One of them is to hold the light, and then also the uh, bar, and then the other one's just for the bar. And then you put these two on next, and they just are on these stands over here, and they're just adjustable just by pulling them up a little bit or down a little bit. And then this is the ripple bar. It's really great, it's sturdy, it can give you a nice straight wave, but as well you can use it uh, with our little balls over here that we have to give a single wave or double wave point. And I'm just going to pop them into the bar. They just fit right into the holes, just like that. And then you'll get two springs that you're going to use to hang the bar from these hooks over here. Just slip them over the little uh, hooks over here. There we go. And then it hooks straight on. There we go. Now I can adjust the height so that I can get either the full length or the two little dots, one dot. Uh, ball in the in the water now with this what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it and I'll wrap it around That uh, stand over there and then let it go down where I can easily plug it into the speed control now the speed control uh, Doesn't ship with a battery in it because of our shipping and uh, we've given you a screwdriver as well And what you're going to do is just remove the cover off the back and then in there you don't have to open it up for you. We've got a little space where you can pop a 1.5 volt torch battery. And then that will serve your speed control and you can adjust it, the frequency of the motor to make slightly larger or smaller waves. So I'm gonna pop these down here. And then I have the light, which is a halogen bulb and gives a really great light to show the wave. And again, what I want to do is just get this out the way a little bit. So I'm going to wrap it around that and then down to the side. And that is basically set up. Then I just want to quickly show you some of the other great things that we've added into the kit. We have a straight bar that can be used to generate waves on the surface of the ripple tank. Then we have two metal reflectors that can be used to show diffraction or reflection. Then we've got a shorter uh, metal reflector, again for the same purpose, and then one that can be used either as a concave or convex reflector. Then we have these clear plastic prisms that can be used to show the refraction of the waves as they pass into shallower water. We have one that has two concave sides, and then one with two convex sides, this one, and then one that's rectangular in shape. And then the stroboscope disc, which is used to improve the viewing of the waves as they move across the tank. Let me just show you how that fits together. It's basically a handle, a bolt, and then the disc itself. What I'm going to do is just um, remove the bolt, 
pass it through the middle of the disc and then tighten the handle onto it. You don't want to tighten it all the way because you need the disc to move freely on the handle. So here we go, just about done and you're going to hold it like that and then spin the disc and try and get it to the right frequency so you can see the waves really clearly.